So, my friend, you want to get that beautiful platinum trophy for Metal Gear Solid? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'll be teaching you how you can get all the trophies slash achievements in Metal Gear Solid within the Master Collection. There are 18 trophies in Metal Gear Solid. They are all straightforward, and you'll be able to get 12 of them by just beating the game. All of these trophies can be obtained on any difficulty with the exception of the Elite Trophy, and we will get to that later in the video. The first one, Commencing Mission, is very simple. Just start the game, and there you go. During your first playthrough, you will get a trophy for each boss you defeated throughout the game. This includes Revolver Ocelot, the M1 Tank, the Ninja, Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf First Encounter, the Hind, Sniper Wolf Second Encounter, Vulcan Raven, Metal Gear Rex, and finally, Liquid Snake. And then, at the end of the game, you will get one of those two trophies based on whether you resist Ocelot Torture or submit to it. If you resist Ocelot Torture, you will end up escaping with Meryl, and at the end of the game, she will give you the bandana. Make sure to save the completed file, and you will unlock the decked out trophy for it. If you submit to Ocelot Torture, you will escape with Arakan, and at the end of the game, he will give you the stealth camouflage. Save the completed file, and you will unlock Dress for the Job trophy for it. As you can see, you cannot get those two trophies in the same playthrough. However, what you can do is as follows. Play through the game until you make it to the first encounter against Sniper Wolf, defeat her, and then save the game. Once Snake get captured, go through the torture sequence by resisting the torture and continue through the game normally. Make sure to do not overwrite the save file that you created earlier. Once you finish the game and you get the trophy for decked out, load the save file that you created earlier after you defeated Sniper Wolf for the first time and continue to the torture sequence. Submit to it, finish the game, and you will get the trophy for the dress for the job. By doing this, you will not have to start a new playthrough and you will be able to continue halfway through the game for the other trophy. The next trophy, which is called Cover to Cover Solid, requires you to read all the pages in the screenplay book, which is self-explanatory. In Metal Gear Solid 1 Master Collection main menu, open the Screenblade book and scroll on every page in it by mashing R1. There are over 543 pages and you need to scroll through every one of them. Add note, you cannot jump to the final page and call it a day. You have to at least see the page for it to count. But don't worry, this whole process will not take more than a minute and 30 seconds. Once you make it to the final page, you will unlock the trophy. Next trophy is a ghostly encounter where you need to exorcise a ghost photo. Basically, you need to take a picture of a ghost in the game and exorcise it. How do you do that? First thing, you need to get a camera. The camera is located on the armory in the same area where you fought Revolver Ocelot and met with Kenneth Baker. It is inside a level 4 door room, which is also behind a secret wall. You get the level 4 door keycard from Arakan when you first meet him after the fight with the ninja. Once you get back to the armory, Follow the route that I'm taking here, and you will get to the same room where you fought Ocelot. Go south through the destroyed wall and look to the right, and you will find a wall that you can destroy with C4 if you haven't destroyed it just yet. Blast the wall open with a C4, and before you enter, throw a chaff grenade as there are turrets inside. Continue forward and go to the door which is located on the north. Enter the room and pick up the camera. Now that you get the camera, throw another chaff grenade and head back to the room where you fought Ocelot. Remember this pillar in the middle of the room where Baker was tied into during Ocelot fight? Equip the camera and take a picture of that specific pillar. Make sure to save the picture in your memory card, and then exit the game to the main menu. Go to special mode, open the album, and then load the save file for the picture that you took. And here you go. There's your ghost, exorcet, and you will unlock the trophy, ghostly encounter. The next two trophies are VR related one. First one is get good, which is simply complete a VR mission. Any VR mission will do, whether a VR mission in the base game, or the VR mission discs, or the special mission discs. Start the first mission, beat it, and there you go, the trophy is in your pocket. The next one is Practice Makes Perfect, which is to complete all VR training missions. And before I explain this, I need to give you a warning. Apparently, this trophy is bugged. I have met the requirements for it and I still did not get it. I have seen a lot of people complaining about it not being unlocked for them, despite meeting the requirements for it. 
if anyone know more info, I would appreciate it. As for the requirements regarding this trophy, this one will take you the longest to get, which is beating all VR missions. Not to be confused with the VR training missions which are the one included within the base game. Oh no no my friend, I'm talking about the VR missions within the VR mission disc. Yes, the 300 VR missions. You need to complete all of them. All 300 VR missions for the trophy to unlock. Thankfully, you do not have to get a rank in them. As long as you beat the mission, you should be fine. As I mentioned before, this trophy is bugged. Until we know more about it, I suggest you to do 99% of the missions, save your file, and finish the last remaining 1%. If the trophy unlock, good for you. If not, do not save and wait for a fix from Konami, or at the very least until we know more about this particular trophy. Happy hunting! And last but not least is the Elite Trophy, which is to obtain the Fox or Big Boss codename. I will have a separate guide ready for this particular trophy, because there is more to it than you think, and it is slightly complicated, and I'm gonna try my best to explain it as simple as possible. In order to get either Fox or Big Boss codename, you need to achieve a certain requirements in your playthrough. At the end of the game, and after the credits you will get to the score. The score screen will show you your overall performance throughout the game. It tracks the difficulty, the time it takes you to finish the game, continues, being found by the enemy, kills, ration consumed, and how many times you saved throughout the entire playthrough. And based on your performance, you will get the correspondent rank associated with it. The requirements needed to achieve either the Fox or Big Boss codename is what we call in the community as Rank 1. The Rank 1 requirements is as follows. You need to beat the game in less than 3 hours with 0 continues, a maximum of 4 alerts, a maximum of 25 guard kills, consuming no more than 1 ration, and a maximum of 80 saves. These requirements are fixed across all difficulties, from easy to extreme. They are the same and they will not change. However, the difficulty you choose at the beginning of the game and achieving the rank 1 requirements during the playthrough will dictate which codename you will get at the score screen in the end. If you play on easy difficulty, you will get the codename Hound. If you play on normal, you will get the codename Doberman. If you play on hard, you will get the codename Fox. And finally, if you play on extreme, you will get the codename Big Boss. So, do you follow me so far? To explain it even further, in order to get the Trophy Elite, you need to start a new game and play on either hard difficulty or extreme difficulty, and make sure to achieve the requirements needed by the end of the game. Once you get the code name, whether you choose hard for Fox or extreme for Big Boss, make sure to save the completed file and you will unlock the Elite Trophy. But what if I told you there's even an easier way to unlock the Elite Trophy without having to go play through hard difficulty or extreme difficulty, thanks to the Master Collection and the various versions of Metal Gear Solid 1 in it. There is a specific version of Metal Gear Solid which will allow you to achieve the codename Fox on easy difficulty. Yes, you heard me correctly. Not on hard difficulty, the easy difficulty. And that specific version is the original Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid. That version is the first version to ever release, and thanks to that, certain features that were released on later versions of the game were not present in this version. The most important one is the lack of difficulty options. There is only one difficulty in the original Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid and that difficulty is based on the easy difficulty of the later versions. So, you can achieve the codename Fox on this particular version of the game by achieving the rank 1 requirements needed for it. You can also get Big Boss codename as well, but it requires you to disable the radar. And in my opinion, there's no reason to make things more complicated and harder for you in order to achieve the Elite Trophy. So yeah, I recommend you to play the original Japanese version if you want to get the Elite Trophy as easily as possible as you will get the benefits of playing on easy difficulty, such as taking less damage from the enemy, guards will have lower visions, the ability to use radar, bosses will have less health, and the most important thing, you will have your health fully refilled after each boss fight. However, keep in mind the original Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid is buggier than the other versions, especially when it comes to boss fights, like Sniper Wolf having more invincibility frames, and you cannot Nikita stun Vulcan Raven. But, as long as you take things carefully and safe often, you will be fine. But if you are the type of guy who likes the challenge like me, and you want to feel rewarded for the Elite Trophy, you can play on either the US version or the integral version of the game, with either hard difficulty for Fox 
or extreme difficulty for Big Boss. Stay away from any of the PAL copies as you will lose massive amount of time and you might risk losing rank 1 by going over the 3 hours time limit to complete the game. So there you have it, enjoy your platinum trophy as you just conquered Metal Gear Solid in the Master Collection. If you find this guide useful, please subscribe and like my video and share it to your friends. If you have any questions, type them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them back. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.